Okay. Why switch? This is super important that we kind of at least get to this position. You will see this a lot in kickboxing. A lot in the Muay Thai specifically love this switch, but American kickboxing, karate guys do it. I mean, Taekwondo guys do this. The bottom line is, is that this leg is always going to, if he's in this stance, this leg is always going to give me the inside of the body, right? Inside of the leg. These are great targets. Now, you can still kick to the outside of the leg or the back leg or to the body or to the head, but this hand becomes an obstacle for you. Okay, so we really want the unprotected front, and that gives us most, we are most, uh, the best kick for that, for access, is going to be the lead leg. So I can sting him, bop, right? I can sting him, bop, even to the head, bop, right? But when you switch, you've changed your stance without him really, um, it doesn't really appear in his mind as the same as me doing this. When I do this, he knows I'm in the opposite stance which gives me the power kick, okay? So we do this, I still look the same up here, but in truth, because of where this foot is, I'm essentially standing here. Works really good to wear them on the, when they're on the move, okay? I switch, now I can really drive this kick to the leg, right? I switch, I can really drive this kick to the body. I switch, I can really drive this kick to the head. Does all that make sense? So the reason for the switch is there, okay? But once you hit, you've extended, or you've expended that ammunition, so to speak. If you recover, your power kick is now here unless you want to do that twice. So if I did this, and I had to do it again, right, he's gonna see a pattern. So I'm gonna hit him the first time here, shift, and now I'm gonna hit him from the opposite side. So he's gonna go boom, boom, one from the right, one from the left. Give it a partner, work the leg.